Mrs. Emma Sorensen. Emma and I are happy enough, but uh, over the years we learned to lead somewhat separate lives. A loveless marriage, secret affair. He knows about us. Julius does, yes. You're leaving me for him and you can't bear to tell me. I'm leaving both of you. I admit, you caught me in a restaurant last night with another woman. He said their marriage was more complicated than I could imagine. Hawthorne Nicholas. Date of birth, 4 10 51. That's the father. Nick? Well? Ah! It has to be a, a clean break. I've had an offer. I'm selling out my share of the yard. I've known her all my life, you see. I've been in love with her. She thought it was just a teenage crush. Mrs. Sorensen always used her own car. I'm employed by Mr. Sorensen. You mentioned crime of passion. What's going on? We're looking for your father, Nicholas. There seems to be a connection between your father and Emma Sorensen. Yeah, well, of course there's a connection. He used to work for the company. We used to be friends. No! How is he? He was incredibly lucky. Doctor says him with a chance. We're gonna need a statement from you at some point, Nicholas. About what? About when you last saw your father on the night of Emma Sorensen's death. And when you saw him again. In other words, you suspect him of killing her. What does this letter mean? What was he sorry for? We had a look around your house, Nicholas. You've done what? We obtained a search warrant. We found a number of letters from Emma Sorensen to your father. She wanted to break off their affair. You had no right We're to... We're investigating a murder. There are certain things we have to do. All right. So they were having an affair. All right, so she wanted to finish it. That doesn't mean he murdered her, does it? Sir, could I have a word? Yes? In private, sir. I've got a meeting now. Come and see me at 11.
You did have a skin full last night, didn't you? Where'd you go? Can't exactly remember. Nicholas, is there anything I can do? Anything you want? No, thanks. How is your father? He's still unconscious. Look, can I visit him? It might be good for someone to be there when he wakes up. Yeah, sure. Why, Edwin? I'm sorry, sir. Edward, for God's sake! What did you have against Emma? Absolutely nothing, sir. Except what she was doing to you. What? Well, you weren't exactly a happily married couple now, were you, sir? She was unfaithful. How, how did... Oh, I know. You had your little lapses as well. But she had betrayed you for three years with your best friend, and then threatening to leave. How did you know all this? You weren't very good at hiding it, sir. And then I saw for myself. When I dropped yourself and the young lady at the restaurant, if you remember, you asked me to make sure that Mrs. Sorensen had gone to the cottage for the night. But when I got near to the house, she was just leaving. And what surprised me was that she wasn't heading for the cottage at all. She was going in the other direction. I don't know why I followed her, really. I had nothing specific in mind, and I knew it would make me late picking you up. It was when I saw Mr. Hawthorne. I think something just snapped. You mustn't do this. What are you doing here? How can you be so selfish? I wanted to tell her she couldn't treat you like that. Leave this to me. I want to talk to you, Mrs. Sorensen. Just listen to me. Let me go. 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 But once it had happened, you see, I owe everything to you, sir. After I was discharged from the services, you gave me the chance. My first job, a roof over my head. I couldn't just stand by and let her... What would have happened in this business had she left? What am I going to do, Edwin? What do you mean, sir? I have to go to the police. To tell them what? The truth, of course. I don't think that's a very good idea, sir. They might not believe it was an accident. I'll explain. I'll speak for you. I don't think that would help, sir. In fact, it might make matters worse. Had Mrs. Sorensen lived, you would have lost control of this company. The company had worked so hard for, built up over the years. What are you saying, Edwin? You had everything to gain from her death. Whereas me, I'd only my job. That's hardly worth killing for now, is it? 
I was in the restaurant. Oh, you might have paid me to kill her. That's what the police would believe. If nobody contradicted them. Yes, sir. When it comes down to it, we are in this together. Make the best of it. I would. Miss Lyons, did you want to reserve a table? Not just at the moment, thank you. More than once a week would be gladdening. <laughs> you remember the other night? Not one of your better catches, that young man. Blind dating is something of a lottery. But the bill was paid by an older gentleman sitting at this table. Now, he might be somebody worth latching onto, but somehow I don't think the evening would stop at coffee. Miss Lyons, I've always admired your enterprise and what I think is a certain moral code. But the young lady sitting there... You know her? Not by name, but I know the sort of places she can be found. Really? Where? Yeah. And his down now. Yeah, I see. Well, will you phone me if there's any change in his condition? Yes, of course we will. Thanks. He's coming. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt. I suppose you've seen the newspaper. What they're saying about Nick Hawthorne and Emma. Um, I just wanted to say that nothing's proven at the moment. And until it is, I think we ought to extend him the benefit of the doubt. That's very generous of you, Mr. Sorensen. Yes, well. It seems his life is in the balance at the moment. No, I was expecting... It doesn't matter. What, what do you want? When? job. You don't remember me, do you? Maybe that's because we haven't met. No, we haven't. But we were both in Potter's restaurant the night Emma Sorensen was killed. I don't know anything about Sorensen. He came in here a couple of times. He asked me out to dinner. You can imagine the rest. The very night his wife was murdered. It's not my fault, is it? What am I supposed to do, go running to the police? He's not under suspicion anyway, is he? Not if we can believe the newspapers. However... What? I saw his chauffeur on my way from the restaurant. I imagine he was on his way to meet you. What of it? It's not an easy way to make a living, this, is it? This and the other. Oh, don't come prim with me. I'm not. I just need to know something. Something that might be of use to both of us. When the chauffeur picked you up, was there anything different about him? What do you mean, of use to both of us? I'm not even sure exactly why I wanted to see you. Obviously, there are things that need explaining. The relationship between my father and Emma 
for instance. You knew about it when you sacked him, didn't you? Yes, I did. Well, why didn't you tell me that before? Because I wasn't exactly proud of the way I'd behaved. I agree, it had nothing to do with his capability for his job. But... But he shouldn't have been having an affair with your wife. Well, you're right. He shouldn't. Nicholas, I don't want to poison your view of him. You could never do that. He was, well, he is, a passionate man. He feels strongly about things. No doubt he felt strongly about Emma. You believe he killed her, don't you? I'm not sure. If he pulls through, and please God, he will. Perhaps it can be cleared up. In the meantime, I just want you to know that I understand what you must be going through. And if you need anyone, you can count on me. We were in the back of Sorensen's car going to his house. Sorensen was more interested in me than anything else. I don't think he'd seen much action for a while, if you know what I mean. But yeah, I noticed. What exactly? There was a scratch on the chauffeur's neck, blood on his collar. I remember thinking he couldn't have done that shaving. And he was late picking you up? About 20 minutes. I managed to fit in another brandy. You don't see the significance of any of this? No, and I don't want to. I've already told you I'm not the sort of woman who likes to hang around police stations. But I'm not talking about going to the police, am I? About eight o'clock, he was on his own. I felt rather bad because he'd asked me to go for a drink that night and I couldn't. Did you often go drinking with him? No. He had plenty of friends. Had? Has. You've got quite different temperaments, haven't you? So? We're different individuals. And you saw him again the next morning when he came in. Where had he been all night? He couldn't remember. That's what he said. He woke up on the street. Did you believe him? Yes. What will happen to him if he's found guilty? It's not for me to say. You think he is? I don't think he could stand a long prison sentence. It might be better if he died. No change, I'm afraid. Good afternoon, Sorensen's Boatyard. How can I help you? Is Julius Sorensen there, please? I'm afraid he's in a meeting at the moment. Can I take a message? Yeah, just say Nicholas Hawthorne rang. I'll try again later. I'll do that, thank you. Goodbye. Poor boy. What is it?
Hello. What are you doing here? I wanted to see you. Should we go for a walk? He had no idea he and Emma were lovers. He hid it from me. He must have known how I felt about her. Well, that shows some delicacy on their part. Does it? Or does it make me look even more stupid? Whatever has happened, none of it is your fault, Nicholas. You have to hang on to that. What you need is something to keep you busy. A job? Round here? Did you never apply to Sorensen's? You said at dinner that night that when you come down from university, you'd had a plan. And that was it. He was supposed to give me a job, but by then he'd fired my father and we weren't talking. Well, you could try him now, couldn't you? Well, he paid our bill at the restaurant. And you went to Emma's funeral. I'm sure he appreciated that. This is awful. Why don't you offer him your talents? You deserve a break. And he'd be crazy to turn you down, wouldn't he? Young Mr. Hawthorne rang today, sir. I know. I got the message. I think it's very touching. What do you mean? Offering him your support. What am I supposed to do? He thinks his father killed Emma, and I'm reinforcing that. The least I can do is extend the hand of friendship. As long as it doesn't endanger us. I mean, if he needs someone to look up to, and you need someone to lean on... For God's sake, Edwin, don't try and tell me who I can and can't talk to. You got us into this. You must leave it to me to deal with this bloody mess whichever way I think fit. I only ever looked after your interests, sir. I think you might be grateful for that. I really can't give you very long with him. Well, what possible reason could there be not to ask him? Are you embarrassed? Do you want me to ask him for you? Why would you do that? Because I care about you. And I'm trying to make up for the dreadful way I behaved when we first met. Oh, God, I didn't tell you. I ran into Sonia Bates. Who? The woman Sorensen was with that night at the restaurant. I got talking to her, and it's a funny thing, she said. Apparently, Sorensen's chauffeur was late picking them up. What are you talking about? Probably nothing. But she said he was in something of a state. As though he'd been in some sort of fight. Has she been to the police? Uh, no. That's not exactly her style. She's a professional lady. Sorensen had picked her up in a club. What, a prostitute? A hostess. Yeah, what does that matter? I should talk to her. It would be a matter of finding her again. Well, as I say, it might not mean anything. Yeah, but of course it could. Look, I may have been Sorensen's perfect alibi for Emma's murder, but a chauffeur? Well, if you do approach Sorensen for a job, it might be worth making a few discreet inquiries. Let's get this straight. You got a phone call from the pub? Yeah. How did Emma Sorensen know to find you there? It was my logo when I lived in Pillsbury. What happened when you met her on the quayside, Mr. Hawthorne? Your son said you couldn't remember. I don't think that's so. I think you blocked it out, hadn't you? I think if you try really hard, you could tell me. You want to tell me, don't you? I... Yes? I was late meeting her. Go on. The thing is, I knew there was no point in me being there. I knew what she'd say. I shouldn't have been there, not in the state I was in. Nick, what's the matter with you? 
Oh, Nick, why have you done this to yourself? Because it's over, isn't it? Isn't it? talk to you when you're like this. Oh, you're right. You're absolutely right. So you're better off without me, aren't you? You're better off without both of us. After that, I wandered around till I found someone that sold alcohol. I just wanted my brain out of gear. Sooner or later, I suppose, I... I passed out. You never touched her, is that what you're saying? You never laid a hand on Emma Soros? I don't think so, no. No, I couldn't hurt her. Then how did she die? Well, you're the detectives, aren't you? But you tried to kill yourself. You wrote your son a note. Nick. Where's Nick? What did you mean? What were you sorry for? Where's Nicholas? Gentlemen, I think we should end it there. I wasn't doing anything. Just looking through some paperwork. I'm glad you came round. Can I offer you a drink? No, thanks. Oh. I was having one. But of course, if you're driving, Long while since you've been here, isn't it? Emma's favourite painting. One of the things we never saw eye to eye about. I used to shoot pheasants out of the cottage. We ran over one once. She was taking me out there for the first time, I think. She was heartbroken. I've I bought some designs I wanted you to have a look at. When did you do them? Well, since leaving university. Didn't have much time when I was studying. I've got some more on computer in 3D. And these are all your own work? Yeah, of course. And you haven't shown them to anyone? What do you expect him to find out? Anything that'll give us better leverage. Assuming Sorensen did pay his chauffeur to kill her, strengthening the motive might be enough. But we'll have to cut him in as well. Not necessarily. Nicholas's main concern is to prove his father didn't do it. I haven't told him there's a business plan attached. <laughs> you can't squeeze Sorensen once he's been arrested. First one thing, then the other. First we get Sorensen to pay up, then we let justice take its course. Can you keep Nicholas on a leash for that long? What do you think? It seemed to me that sailing a yacht at Optimum is still mainly a matter of instinct and chance. Well, by moving the keel substantially and uh, adjusting the hull, you increase that chance considerably. Well, this is hardly even a prototype, but, but I'm sure it's achievable. Is this what I let slip when I didn't snap you up after university? Would you come and help me build this now? Well, it'd cost a lot of money. The money's there. When can you start? As soon as possible. You can work out of my office till we find room for you. Nicholas, you've made me very happy. Sorensen had picked her up in a club. The woman you saw me with in the restaurant, she was just somebody I met in one of those awful clubs. The ace of something.
I'm looking for a woman. Well, you've come to the right place. A particular woman. Her name's Sonia Bates. Do you know if she works here? Why don't you become a member and find out? <laughs> it's okay, thanks. I'll, I'll just wait outside. Sonia? Who's that? I don't want any trouble. I don't know who he is. Ah, forget it. Oh, thanks. I'm sorry. I just wanted a word. I've got a word for you. In fact, I've got two words. Piss off! It's, it's just you know something about Sorensen's chauffeur. Annabelle told me. Look, if you've got any evidence... Is uh, Mr. Sorensen here yet? He doesn't usually arrive until 9.30. All right, yeah, of course. Uh, uh, but I do have a message. You're to use his office, is that right? If it's not a problem. No, not at all. I'll open up for you. Don't bother. Sorensen's dinner companion, Sonia Bates. How? Oh. Throttled again? <laughs> well, not Hawthorne this time. Definitely not Hawthorne. Shall I get on to Sorensen? I'll do it. A tenant who found us down at the station, you deal with him. Is this the original? Yeah. Look, Annabelle, I've got to get to the hospital. You realise what this means? Emma Sorensen was definitely intending to take her money out of the company, which means that someone other than your father could have a motive for killing her. Brilliant work. 
so you think it's enough? Yes. Sorensen and his chauffeur are as guilty as hell. Thing is, I saw Sonia Bates last night. What? Where? She wouldn't talk. I asked her about Edwin, she wouldn't say anything. Don't worry, she will, when the time comes. Are you sure? Go and see your father. I'm perfectly capable of delivering this to the police. Everything's going to turn out for the best. You'll see. I'm sorry to have to ask you this, sir, but last night you were... Mr. Sorensen, this is the second woman with whom you have a close connection who has met a violent death. Where were you last night? At home. Alone? Yes. Uh, uh, no, uh, Nicholas Hawthorne was with me. You have an uncanny knack of being in that young man's company at some very crucial moments, if I may say so. And what time did Mr. Hawthorne leave your house, sir? I'm not sure. Not well, I can check with him, of course. I may want to speak to you later on in the day. You'll be here. I trust. <sighs> Sorry. Yes? I'm asking for a hundred thousand pounds. I don't think that's excessive under the circumstances. I would suggest a meeting later today. My country cottage. I'm sorry? Meet me at my country cottage. It's the first house outside Charlton on the Petersfield Road. I don't think so. If you want your money, that's where I'll be. One o'clock. I felt bloody guilty hiding the truth from you. But you believe I couldn't have harmed Emma. At the time, I... I couldn't be sure I hadn't, you see. And I didn't want to go on living without her. Mr. Hawthorne, can we have a quick word? Outside, perhaps. Let's be clear, Mr. Hawthorne. We're not accusing you of anything, but Mr. Sorensen says you were with him yesterday evening and you were seen in the car park where the body was found. Why had you gone to see Miss Bates? Well, because she was a witness of sorts. 
to Emma Sorensen's murder. Didn't you know that? Haven't you seen Annabelle? Annabelle who? Annabelle Lyons. She's coming to see you. She's got the letter. I think we need to have a long tour, Mr. Arthur. Perhaps if you could come down to the station. Annabelle. Mr. Hawthorne! It's okay. We'll catch up with him. Give me the keys. Sir? Just give me the car keys. If there's any sort of problem, sir, I think you should let me help. You've done enough. They have no evidence on either of us. We're free. You are, Edwin. You're free to do whatever you want. Just stay away from me. and went out. What you think to be the truth isn't exactly the case, but it doesn't matter very much. This whole thing has become a living nightmare. I can't continue to live with the knowledge of what has happened, of what I've caused to happen, either directly or indirectly. You're on your own. I took this from the front garden. Sorry, I'll put it back afterwards. I suppose we might as well do this quickly. Have you got the money? No. What do you mean? You dragged me all the way out here. You said you'd have the money. Get it. Get the money or I'm going straight to the police. I wanted you to find me dead. But I couldn't go through with it. You were going to kill yourself. What the hell good is that to anyone? You think that's any sort of justice? There are people in this world, struggling from day to day. You're born with a silver spoon in your mouth, and the best that you can think of is to choke on it. You had your wife killed. You have to pay for that. Leave him. He's not worth it. Are you? No. You would have let my father go to jail. Or die. Having me believe he was guilty. I 
I should have known better. That you really wanted to help me. That you really cared for me. I don't expect you to believe it. But I do. I just needed something more, that's all. Well, well. Here we all are. Huh? Mr. Sorensen. I did say, didn't I? Not to get too close to the boy. It was always going to end in trouble. Edwin. And now how are we going to square it? Huh? We can't just let them leave here. Can we? Can we? After all I've done for you, huh? I gave you everything. Absolute loyalty. Whenever you needed me, I was there, wasn't I? Edwin, I want to bring a tart home tonight. Why, certainly, sir. Let me drive you in style. Wasn't that it, wasn't it, huh? Edwin, my wife's got me by the shorties. I don't know what to do about her. I never... Shut up! Just shut up. That girl was right. You had everything. And you just threw it all away. If you hadn't got the guts to get what you want without having to rely on other people. You're so bloody stupid. You deserve everything that's happened to you. And now you're gonna go down for it. in your life. <laughs> yeah. I'm ready. What would it solve? You okay? I was just wondering. Yeah? If you knew about Emma and me from the beginning, I'd have the courage to ask her to leave Sorensen and move in. Whether she'd still be alive now. Well, you were just protecting me. Was I? I don't think so. I was selfish. Deep down, I was afraid. For saying no. I'm losing it. <laughs> now. Ah, hell enough of that. Take the old cripple down to the water. <laughs> 